Benvenuti amici di Game Legends, siamo al Cartoomix all'interno del videogame show. Qui con me c'è Diana. Hello, nice to meet you. Diana viene da Inno Games, che è l'azienda riesca che conosciamo benissimo per i loro successi. Ci ha invitato alla Start to Com per questa piccola intervista e adesso parleremo in inglese. Io e Diana, e voi ascolterete quello che abbiamo a dire con questo ritorno lì. Mi raccomando. So Diana, we have a gobble here, so I'll, we'd like to read the question and you will answer. So... From a hobby to a full-time work, tell us, about, tell us about this process. So it all started with two brothers that wanted to make a great game and one of their friends. Um, in 2003, they decided to make Tribal Wars because they just wanted to make a game that they could play with their friends. Then by 2005, it turns out that they already had 50,000 players registered. So back then, they were like, oh, This is actually starting to work really good. And then in 2007, they decided to make a company and pursue actually like their game and as a company. So then um, after that, the hobby turned more into an actual, yeah, an actual work. Let me tell you, 150 million play of players registered in your game. So what's your plan to let this community grow up? This amazing number, I mean. I think that's actually really simple. We will, just continue, we will just continue to develop and improve our games to make them the best possible gaming experience for our players. That said, we are also looking to make other games to further improve those numbers. Okay, thank you. And uh, for Joven Empires, uh, is there, uh, you can tell us some uh, news about the game. I mean, uh, is there a big add-on uh, coming or... Can you tell us? I think that's a question that everybody's asking, especially since it came to the far future. And I can say that something big is coming. I can't really tell you much yet, but you can just wait. We also have a lot of events, like the historical events that are coming up. So the players have a lot of content that they can look forward to. Now, an unpolitically correct uh, question. Your games are free-to-play games and you can buy something inside the game to improve your uh, game. And uh, what about the players who said that it's all uh, pay-to-win games? I think that I can understand where they're coming from and why they think that, but in reality, it can be farther from the truth. Our game designers actually take great, great, great effort, and they're actually really proud of the fact that they balance our games in order to make them the best possible experiences. If it was just pay to win, we couldn't really make money because um, people would stop playing our games. So what we want to do is make the best experience that a player can have, and that involves having people be able to play and beat other people, even if the other people are not paying. That's fun. And um, what about uh, the consoles? Uh, the consoles, I mean... What do you think about, uh, for example, Forge of Empires? Uh, is there a program to import the game to the consoles? Or is it going to stay to smartphones, tablets, and PC? I think even though this, despite the fact that consoles are very popular, it's not something that at the moment we're going to pursue. Just because um, we're very, very happy with where we are with the mobile and browser, and we see our players very happy there. So for now, We're just go going to stay in those um, platforms. Uh, what about something new? I mean, some 3D games, some uh, brand new ideas. Is there coming to PC or mobiles? I mean, I can't really tell you too much, but what I can say is that we have four brand new games in development. Yes, they're going to come soon, but that's all I can say for right now. So keep an eye out for Inno Games. What can I say? For new games, uh, guys, uh, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's, you know, games is growing up, so I can tell you, thank you, Diana. And uh, you can say goodbye to our friends in Italy. Oh, see you guys. Ciao a tutti, ragazzi. Ci vediamo alla prossima.